Now you know this technology is a mess. Hey. We're back. Hey. Woo. <laughs> I hope y'all can see us now. I'm going to yes. let everybody uh, have a few minutes to get on. Again, I'm Pastor Kim Outlaw. This is Dr. Tuesday Tate. Yes, yes, yes. And so uh, we're going to give you a message on marriage on this Monday. And I know what you're saying. This is not Pastor hey, Steve Bella. Outlaw. I know. No. I no. know. And um, we've had this meeting on the calendar. And you can see Sullivan's in the back, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for over a year now. And I had to stay with this because I canceled several times. Hey, Trish. And so, um, Trish, you did an awesome job at co-hosting Love on the Bus. And thank you and Minister John. We had an awesome, awesome time. I'm having and a hot so, flash. hey, Diana. Uh oh, she's having a hot flash. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you can't tell the man that. And, and, can't tell and that. men, I want you to still get on here because, you know, she travels the country um, with relationship talk and hey, doing Carolyn. relationship talk. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Teresa. Much better? Awesome. Awesome. That's Pastor Kim. Hey, hey, Verna. The power and so, we are out here and uh, we've been discussing a lot of different things. Hey. Diana, uh, we've been talking about what you were sharing in Illinois. She just got back from Illinois. Oh, yeah. And um, she was doing a relationship conference, conference down there. Yes, yes. So she just got back. Hey, Nakia. Uh, and married people were in there as well as singles. And she was talking about the yoke and all that kind of stuff. And it was just powerful, powerful. When the yoke don't choke. Um, when, the, <laughs> when the yoke don't choke. <laughs> when the yoke don't choke. When the yoke don't choke. And so... Dr. Tuesday is just going to give us a message on marriage. And don't worry. Don't worry. Because Pastor Steve is not going to get away that easy. We'll probably do something tomorrow or later on tonight. But I wanted to stay true oh, to the 8 o'clock hour. Okay. To the 8 o'clock hour. And uh, because we were discussing marriage and discussing relationships, I really... Hey, hey Rita. I wanted to um, stay true to that. And I think she has hey, something Roy. to say as Amen. well. Andrea, hi. I need you to come on my radio show. Hey, Michelle. I most certainly will. I most certainly will. You hey, just let Carolyn. Me know. She said, hi, Pastor Kim. Hello, Carolyn. So she's, you know, her Carolyn people Miller. are like, you got to go live where you are. They're just copying off of, yeah. you know, us and stuff. That's Absolutely. Okay. I got her. I got her. Hey, Vivian. I got her from it. Dr. Tuesday. Yes. Talk to us. Talk to us. Okay. Give us a message. I mean, we were talking about some powerful stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Some really powerful stuff, you know, as it pertains to relationships. And we were talking about, you know, some of the counseling you've been doing and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Regina, thank you. Thank you. And, um, you know, I, I just want you to share something with them today. Amen. Today. Amen. You know, um, the what we were talking about, about the yoke not choking. The Bible says that... Um, how can two, well, no, that's a whole nother scripture, that our yokes, we need to be equally yoked. Do yeah. not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. And I know a lot of times we think, well, he'll get saved, she'll get saved. But this is what we need you to understand. God is not looking for any more Gomers and Jose's. He's done that. He does not look, need anyone else to look up with, marry someone who does not believe in the same Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's now, uh, whatever your faith is, that's cool. But for believers in Jesus Christ, it's important that you marry someone who is a believer. Relationships are already challenging, yeah, right? Enough. Enough. Yeah. So if the relationship with is challenging, with a believer, exactly. And so if you marry someone, connect yourself with someone, yoke yourself with someone who does not believe in the same God that you serve, the same Savior that you serve, you're going to bring uh, more challenges into your relationship than you have to. And so the concept is uh, ox were about a thousand pounds. Okay. They're about a thousand pounds. They could okay. get up to about 2,000 pounds, which is a ton. Okay. And so those ox would submit themselves mm -hmm. to the owner. Okay. And okay. so to the farmer and he would take that little rope and tie it around their neck and they would be uh, hooked up to like a fence. Okay. And they would be right next to each other and he would take this wooden bar and they still do. Right. Cause right. ox still plow fields. Right. Yeah, and so he would take this wooden bar that has two holes underneath it and place it on their necks. Okay. And underneath is a latch called a bow. 
go ass. Uh-oh. Look at Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> God got this stuff all trumped tight. And mm. so he would latch that bow okay. to the wooden bar and then he would put a bolt on top. And so I saw in the spirit that the latch, that wooden bar was the word of God, which is Jesus. That bow underneath is the Holy Spirit. And the thing that is holding them together is God. You cannot do this thing wow. without God. If you are a believer, yeah. you cannot do. I don't know how people do relationships. I don't. I love all y'all who believe in other things, but I really don't understand how you do a healthy relationship that will last in God until death do you part without Jesus. I just yeah. don't know how you do it. Yeah. And so the Bible says that um, a threefold cord is not easily broken. Yes. That's you and Come your spouse, now. right? Come on. That's you and your spouse. That's Thank you God. and your, your husband, mm-hmm. man, your wife. Mm-hmm. And so he said that that is not easily broken. And I want you to do this as a test. I want you to take a rope mm-hmm. and tie it in threes. Keep tying those three things together. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like locking your hair. Okay. Once hair really gets locked, the only way, right, Pastor ladies, Kim, know about that, right? The only way to unlock locks, you got to cut your hair all off. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can't. You can't That's undo it like a braid. You That's can't do it uh, like a braid. <laughs> and so this important thing about being yoked together with a believer, the beginning of this thing is that. He's a believer. She's a believer. Okay. But then after that, it is important that you are yoked spiritually in uh-huh. your maturity. Then there are other things that you need to have in common. It's called compatibility. It's compatibility. called compatibility. You need to That's be good. compatible. You need to be yeah. compatible. So let's just look at this yoke thing. Okay. If you have a yoke that, if you have an ox who's 2,000 pounds. All right. And they were yoked together with another ox who was, hey, Latrice was there on Saturday. You have an ox that they yoked together that was 500 pounds. Okay. That 2,000 pound ox is going to pull that 500 pound ox. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's And the heavier that that ox is, the deeper he is going to tread into the ground. Come on now. So he's going to tread into the ground. Come on. And so didn't God say something about he'll make your enemies your footstool and he'll, he'll let you tread up on serpents Uh and uh uh-huh. So Uh you can't tread uh-huh. You 200, you 2,000, and I'm yeah. 500. Uh-huh. So what you getting into the ground is going to be at the surface. That's yeah. that's because you ain't got enough weight. Right. You don't have enough weight in God yeah. to go as deep as the person Jesus. who is See, 2,000 is we pounds. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. And so they're not treading evenly. So let's just, you know, since we on camera, since yeah. Kim, you're going to be 2,000. Uh-huh. And I'm 200. All right. And if I'm 200 or 500, she's going to be pulling me. Uh-huh. She's going to be pulling me because I'm back here. Okay. I'm not going to be able to keep up with you. Right. Because you 2,000. That's right. And you doing all the treading. So here you go, wife. You all deep and spiritual and waking up at 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. And I love your husband. I know you love him too. And he's like, baby, why are you always getting up to pray? Well, I got to get up and pray. God. Now I'm telling some of y'all, stay y'all tails in bed. I love you. <laughs> I love you. You know I do. You need to stay in bed sometimes. Amen. Amen. But- I know I know why you know men came out. Y'all ain't came out because Pastor Steve ain't on here, right? That's okay. We're gonna get him out. Amen. My too. yeah, some I got some brothers over here, Frank uh-huh. and some men. Amen. Yeah. And so we're not saying that because your husband don't get up in the fourth watch of the night to yeah. pray that he ain't saved. He is saved. But God may have called you to something greater. God may have called him to something greater. And if anybody's going to be fatter uh-huh. in that relationship and heavier with more weight it would be ideal if it's the husband okay because the bible expects our husband he said wash her in the word that's amen true. so god is okay with your husband being more spiritually mature than you yes but a lot of times we tend to be i don't know if we're yeah. always more spiritually mature yeah maybe we just go to church well the more. churches are, are filled up too filled with well. women more women but you know this is a real good word for singles all as right. well. This is really, really Absolutely. good. Because. Hey, Stacy. Tuesday. Once they're married now. Oh, Jesus. And they're already in it. They've they're already, already taken the it. vows unto God. Yeah, yeah. And you've already taken the vows unto your spouse. Mm-hmm. And so, hey, Josh. <laughs> That's right. Stay in that bed. Amen. We have the fruitful. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Amen. Handle your business. Then get Amen. up. And then get and up. And then get up. Handle your business. And then get up. But, Okay. What do you say to the couple, whether if it's the husband or the wife, 
that finds themselves in the position that they are trying to drag the yeah, other one oh along. My Lord. Oh, how what do you tiring. say to that? Because there's also some husbands that have been trying to get their wives That's right. to go deeper in the things of the spirit as well. Absolutely. It's not just wives. That's right. You know, trying to get their husbands to go deeper. There are husbands that's trying to get hey, their hey, wives hey. to stay I true agree. to the word. And what do you, amen, Josh, absolutely, mm -hmm. Minister Chris. And so, you know, what do you say to that? Because we talked a little bit about yeah, that we as did. well. we did. So, you know, so the Bible you say says in Timothy to husbands to live with your wife in understanding as uh -huh. the weaker vessel. So God that's expects right. that. God expects that. And he said, be careful how you speak to her. And yeah. so God is, I think ideally, as I said earlier, ideally, uh -huh. if anybody's going to be weightier in the spirit, uh -huh. it should be the husband. Uh -huh. So he can pull her up gently with love and with understanding. But if you are in that marriage where the other one isn't where hey, you hey, are, Minister that doesn't you mean rock. you're better than them. No. No, that doesn't mean that God has shown more favor to you because you, you know, pray six times a day and you wake up at the fourth watch and you fast 18 million times in the month. No, that doesn't mean that. Okay. What it, all we're saying is if that's where you are and your spouse is in that place, mm -hmm. you pray for them. Okay. You pray for them and you continually to speak well of them. Absolutely. To them and to other people. Absolutely. Girl, your husband will never come to church. Well, baby, it's okay. Me yeah. and my husband, this is our thing. Yeah. We have an understanding. Absolutely. And, and so Keep, let me say, it's can none I get of their close? business anyway. Can I, uh, that's what y'all was getting It's, it's none say. of their business. It's none of their business. Yeah. It's none of their it's business. It's none of their business. Because we, a lot of times we look at couples, mm -hmm. Pastor Kim, and we want to model ourselves by what they're doing. Absolutely. But you don't know what it took them to get to where they are. Ooh, we said that yesterday at Living Water. Yeah. Uh, when we ministered from the subject, the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen, we Brother Tim. That. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you don't know what it took them to get. So when you see a strong woman, yeah. strong woman, but when she's with her husband to you, she looks weak because she's submitting. Oh, my God. But so she's not. No. She's not. She's it takes strength it, to submit. It takes strength to it submit. Strength to Jesus submit. said, Jesus said, yeah. he said, please don't take my meekness for weakness. He said, because I could call down a legion okay. to get you. That's but it. that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, call down to get you. He said, but what we have to understand right. is truly meekness by definition means Absolutely. authority under uh -huh. submission, under authority control. Under strength submission. under control. Strength under control. And so because I could, yeah. that don't mean I should. Everything that's permissible is not beneficial the word would you says. say that again everything that is permissible just because you can don't mean you should that's really because you can say it don't mean you should say it. oh Amen. my god oh Put my god that's end. good yes lord uh -huh. so so we love god so we yeah, want we to do. encourage you that if you are in that marriage and yeah. your spouse is not where you want them to be you pray them into that place yeah you speak well of them into that place not quote unquote and it's really neck, not it's not that they're not where you want them. Where God, to yes. Be. Hey, Keisha. You know, we don't set the standard. That's right. That's it good. ought to be where God good, would good, have good, good correct. for us mm -hmm. to be. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, where God would have for us to be. Mm -hmm. And then that's, that becomes our assignment to pray. To pray. For God's will to be done mm -hmm. on earth. As it already is. As it is in heaven. Yes. And for that yeah. spouse. For because that spouse, God's word. Right. And if you don't know what to pray, just crack open the word. I mean, yeah. go back to yeah. the back, to the concordance. Look up yes. manhood. Look up fatherhood. Look up marriage. Yeah. And pray those scriptures over your spouse. Yeah. You can't miss it. Because the word is not going to return void as you pray it and speak it over them and into their lives. Absolutely. And I think, I think we got to go back to that again. Because I've seen somebody post that. It's very, very important that we pray for our hey, spouse Renita. to get in the place where God would have for them to, to be. be. Okay. That's very, very important mm -hmm. because sometimes we're trying to push and make our spouses be you something pulling them. that God has not called for them to, to be. be. Now that's very, that's very good. important. Right that's there. good. Mm -hmm. Because we want the safest place is to be where God has called hey, Ob you to be. Obadiah. You don't ever want to do anything or Apostle. be uh, anywhere or try to get in Aster. any type of position because somebody think you ought to. You only want what God has Pass for, for you. Them. And you only want to be in that place That's right. that God has called That's you right. You know, we yeah. are calling things. I know. Yeah. I hear you. Well, I'm calling things as they yeah. are. As they are. We're calling things that are not, not as, as though, though they, they are. are. Well, yeah. we get that. So there's yeah. some words you can clearly pray. Yeah. My husband is a man of valor. Oh, yeah. 
there's some things you can pray. Uh -huh. You can you can go straight into scripture yes. and just pray that word. It may not be what you see right now. Absolutely. But it could be because the word is always God's will. Yeah. The word is always God's will. So the you cannot is always, always God's, God's will. will. Yes. So you cannot miss it if yeah. you pray the, the word. Because I've been praying. What's yeah. God's purpose for my life, yeah. for my husband, for our marriage? Or for Just my pray the wife. word. Yeah, Some for my wife. husbands are oh, praying. Oh, my Lord. What yes, is they the are. And what is the purpose for my wife? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Eric. Praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, so we, so, hey, Sean. So we absolutely um, believe that the word is, there's some. You know, there are scriptures that are absolutely mm -hmm. meant for the wife and for the husband. Absolutely. And then there are scriptures. For example, mm -hmm. uh, someone had asked me yesterday about submitting to your husband. Okay. Right? Submitting mm -hmm. wives, submit to your husband. Hey, and Barbara. and I said, well, right before that, it says submit one to yeah. another as in fear of the Lord. Right. So as you're, see, this is why it's important okay. that you are with a believer. Yeah. Because that scripture is saying as a brother in Christ, uh -huh. as a sister in Christ, okay. I can submit to you. I'm sorry, I can't submit to you if you serve in Buddha. Yes. I can't yes. submit to you if you serve in Muhammad. Right? That's right. That's but right. that's what you marry. So you now you got to put earthly rules Jesus. in place and the earthly rules are now superseding spiritual rules. And that's not how it should be because not only does the two become one flesh, that's for everybody. Let me look at my wow. camera too. That's for everybody. But in the spirit in Christ, the two become one mm -hmm. spirit in yeah. God. Wow. Say so that when again. you don't, when, when you are a believer mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ, the two become not only one flesh, but you become one in spirit because yeah. you are under the Holy Spirit. Who is she? This is Dr. Tuesday Tate. Amen. We've been friends. Oh my goodness. I know. Easy For how start. many years? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh time. my God. A long time. Oh my God. We said that we don't get to have lunch mm -hmm. and do scrumpets every month, but when we get together, over a year. it's good. It's been over a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we had this on the calendar. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's a lot of people on here. Uh -huh. Mary. Hey, Mary. Okay, so amen. So we want to just encourage you. If you are in a yeah. situation where you're saying, my husband's not there, my wife's not there, I want to serve, I want us to yeah. worship together, then you just pray them in. You pray them in. Pray them in. Pray them in. And God will do it. God yeah. will do it. You can't complain. Listen, you can't have complaint and cursing coming <laughs> <laughs> Coming out the same mouth. Yes. And then expecting we kill our seeds. We kill our seeds. We kill them. We kill our we seeds. We kill the words. With our, our words. words. You yes. kill your seeds. I he I want him to be this. God, I want him to be that. But then and he get on my nerve. She always saying something. You killing your seeds. Now, there's some plants, there's some plants that you uh, don't you have to water a lot? Yeah, right. Yeah, and then there's some plants you only got to water once a week. That's true. Right, right. Yeah, and if you overwater them, yeah, you gonna kill them. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. the Bible says mm -hmm. one plant. Wow. Another water. Another waters. And but God, God brings the, the increase. increase. And most of the time, women mm -hmm. are. We will either be planters or waters. Yeah. I'm gonna encourage us try not be both. Yeah. Try not yeah. to be both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we will plant. We plant into our children. We plant into our husbands. Yes. And we're planting these seeds. That's why you will say something to your children. Uh -huh. Or you'll say something to your husband. And somebody else will come along. And then they'll say it. And it'll be like revelation. And you're like, I said that now three that months ago. Now, that kids. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. That's uh -huh. going. Because we, we are the planners of words. Because we carry yeah. about 25,000 words in our mouth. Uh-huh. A day. A day? Is it 25,000? <laughs> it's about 25,000. Is it 25,000? I think so. Something like okay. that. I forgot what it was. 20, yeah. 25, 27. Some okay. astronomical number. Uh, that's double what uh, our husbands or what men carry. Yes. And so we have all these words. And yes. so we have to be so careful about our words, being mindful of our words. Absolutely. As we're speaking into um, our, our husbands' lives. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this and, our, is, and them speaking it to us. This, this is, I know, it's, it's incredible, right, Josh, Yolanda? It's amazing, right? I mean, we were, even when we get together, and, it, and it's not often, I'm telling yeah, you, this yeah. has been on the calendar over a year. Mm -hmm. And so, um, when we do, looking from Kokomo, hey, hello, Nanette, thank you so much for tuning in. We talk about some powerful stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We really do. We have meaningful conversation. Nation. Although we have fun, we do have fun. <laughs> we <laughs> laugh. We have fun. We kick back. We relax. We let our hair down and all that kind of stuff. But we have meaningful mm-hmm. conversation. And we were just talking since relationships, uh, more so marriages. Marriages um, seem to be hurting. Hurting. Really, really hurting and suffering mm-hmm. at the hands of the people that are married. That are married. Did you catch that? Yeah. They are suffering because of their own hands and because of their own words. Mm-hmm. And so well, we God were talking is joined about together. That. Let no man separate. Let no man. And the two that often, the ones that separate it are the men and the woman in it. Uh, yeah. Right. Say that again. <laughs> right. Say that what, again. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Hey, we Sean. often think about who, the people who are coming into our marriage causing issues. And that yeah. can be true. But sometimes it's mostly us. Yeah. In the yeah. marriages, in the relationships yes. that are causing it because we allowed someone to come yeah. in or because of things that we're doing in, right. in our marriages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us what you got coming up. Dr. Okay. So we could be out here yeah, talking do, all I night. Know, right. But, but tell us what okay. you got coming up. So, uh, let's see now. Blended families and children. Blended families and children. What about them? Yeah. Do you have a question about that? Hey, Ross. Hey, Maria. About blended family and children. Let me say yeah. this uh, while you're typing about blended family and children. Everybody ready? You ready? You got your pen and paper? This is going to be real good. <laughs> Ain't no step nothing in the Bible. That's right. Because if that's the case, Joseph would have been Jesus' stepdaddy. Uh-huh. Ain't no step nothing. God don't have nothing that's step. So that's the first thing we need to take out of our vocab- vocabulary as Christians in the church. Yeah. This is my stepfather. This is my stepmother. This is These are my stepchildren. No. Yeah. All, yes, you stepped in and became another father. You stepped oh, in and became another mother. That. Yes, you stepped in. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love yeah, uh-huh. yeah. But just to become another. And so I I think it's important, amen, I think it's important as single women and men, because there are men who are raising their children, right? And so you need, this need to be, you get me and him. You yeah. get me and them. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, don't, don't. The you first don't get date, one or the no. other. You don't get one or the other. You, you get, get all of us. You get yeah. all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that, that'll package. help that. Mm-hmm. And that's very, very important. Very yeah. important. Because many of you know that when I got married almost 21 years ago, <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Years ago I had a son. Pastor Steve had a son. And hey, then we had Alpha. a son. Hey, but Walter. all three of them are our sons. That's right. Our All children. Three of them. And that was established ooh, whoa, at ooh. the beginning. Oh, I just heard the All Holy Spirit say this. three of them are our sons. And that's how we address them. And that's how we made them address us. And so that's how you treat them. And you are sons. that's how we treat them. Mm-hmm. I just heard the Lord say, Absolutely. part of the challenge too, I hear this a lot. And, and because God has not afforded me to have um, my own children. Yeah. Um, but I do hear this a lot. Particularly when couples have split up or maybe you were never married my son uh-huh. my daughter yeah and and i want to say this and no disrespect to men because they're awesome men i do a men's conference i do a men's forum and so i have a heart for men i really right. do and one of the things i want to say is a lot of times when we as women say you you need how you treat mm-hmm. my son or what you're doing now some fathers may not shouldn't be around right. if the father's raising them maybe the mother shouldn't be around but in the instance where a father is trying to be a father yes. let him be a father let and get out the way father. just because you mad because y'all didn't stay together that ain't got nothing to do with them kids that's right but i want to say this i hear this all the time my child you're doing this to my child or you didn't yeah. come and get my child a part of the reason if you don't give me ownership, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna have buy-in. I know y'all feel like oh God, that's good. I know y'all feel like, but oh, he should, because that's, that's those are their kids. That's good. But this is why companies have employees buy stock in the company. Oh uh, yeah. So you will not only have stock in it, you have buy-in. Ooh. So you want to keep? Don't give me ownership. If you don't give me ownership, I'm then I ain't buy. got no buy-in. Yeah. So stop saying my son, my daughter, my kids. They're his too. They're That's his right. too. That's so, right. amen. Right. Okay, and so I, what do I have you know coming what? up? I, I know this too. And we're going mm-hmm. to say what you have mm-hmm. coming up. That when you've been single and then you get married and and your children are still there and it was just you and your children and then oh, you get yeah, married yeah. you know and that's a process as well yeah it is that's a process as well and i had to go through that process Amen. because hey, Terrence. you know it had been me and my Jarrell for so long yeah you yeah. know and so now i'm married and i had to understand 
that my husband has his best interest in yeah, mind yeah. as well as mine. You because know what I mean? Because he took that responsibility. Absolutely. He and that's it. a process of really trusting God. God with them. Trusting God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And saying, God, you gave me this spouse. Mm -hmm. And I know that he has our best interest our. in mind. That's good. And so I cannot be in this house and be a God-fearing wife Amen. and not trust my husband mm -hmm. with my child. Now, if you, and that's a process. And this is good. And you got to pray and about Let that. me help you, mm -hmm. sisters. You if you don't trust him with your children, should you be marrying him? Yeah. He's good enough to be a husband. He needs to be and good enough to be a father. Him. You can trust him. You can trust him with your children. But it's all about releasing and letting that go. Mm -hmm. And that's a process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just a process. And, and that's just keeping it 100. Amen. Amen. You know, How long did it take you to get there? It didn't take me long. Okay. It really didn't take me long because I stayed in the face of God. Amen. I stayed in the face ah, of God. In the face of and God. That's, that's the that's key, key, ladies. And this is the key for anybody, you know, because you got to understand you birthed and brought that into the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's totally different than me coming down the aisle to you. Yeah. Yeah. And making you a part of my world. That's right. Yeah. Totally different. Totally different. And you have to have kids to understand that. Yeah. Yeah. You really yeah. do. And Dr. Tuesday ain't got none. We'll pray none. for it. But, but you know, you have to have kids to kids understand gonna that. Kids going to be mad whoever he is. you go to God. <laughs> you, go, <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> you go to God and God will help you because... The house has to be in order. Yeah. It has to be in order. So mm -hmm. so when he makes a decision. Ah, that's and good. And because I that's was very good. strong. I was very strong-willed, you know. And you have to be mm -hmm. when you're a single parent. That's right. That's I was very right. strong-willed. And I, you know, I, I made decisions. And I'm making six figures when I got yeah. married. Yeah, yeah, You know. Yeah. So that was a process for me. And I'm just keeping it real with you. And you just have to allow uh, that husband to make decisions and you support the decisions that he make without overturning those decisions and trust God. Now, this is going to be a whole new topic. God. God, we ain't going to be able to talk about we ain't it. Gonna be able to talk what, about if you, what if he don't make good decisions? Then that's, that's, that's up to God. You have to get. You have to go to God for that. But you because that he has to answer to you God. Married them, maybe not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not okay. necessarily. Especially okay. if you didn't live together. Ah, <laughs> Shabbat. Hey. Especially hey. if you didn't live hey. together. She didn't make me. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> she said, Ah, Shabbat. <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh Jesus. You know. Man, but as long as you recognize what the issue is mm -hmm. and you're aware of it, then you go to God. Yeah. And if you go sincerely, mm -hmm. eventually, and pray God, your heart will wisdom. change. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And you say, God, I. I don't know how to handle this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you said that everybody that lacketh wisdom, let them ask of God. That's what's the word. Who gives to every man freely. That's the word. And you won't hold nothing back. That's the word. So I need your help right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's a real that's talk good. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The house has to be in order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I am strong willed and have been independent and I am trying. Yes. Keep going to God. I feel you. I, I know. I know what that's like. I was driving a sports car and everything, making for real money. <laughs> and I loved him, and I knew he loved me, you know, and mm -hmm. I had a son. But, you know, I was protective over him. Yeah. I'm watching over him because mm -hmm. it's been me in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that was your I, job. I'm listening how you talk to him, you know, and, and all of that kind helping. of stuff. You help I, I, I'm, I'm helping somebody. Mm -hmm. I believe I am. Yeah, you are. I understand that. But eventually, you, 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 you have got to understand the importance of ownership mm -hmm. and buy-in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because we say we want you to be his father. He's got to see you mm -hmm. as his father. Yeah. But then we got to stop trying to be the mother and, and the, the father. father. Yeah. Yeah. And that's for yeah. us as singles, too. I say yeah. this now. Whatever yeah. you want to be, pray about mm -hmm. it now. Whatever you want to be, yeah. you want to be a good mother. You want to be a good daughter-in-law. Yeah. Pray to be a good daughter-in-law. Yeah, that is so good. You want to be uh, have a good relationship with your mother-in-law. You pray about that now. Yeah. We are independent. We've been single, maybe with or without children. You have yeah. to pray now. God, teach me how to submit. Yeah. I said yesterday yeah. at the conference I didn't pray about that at the uh, Amen. I should have, but I didn't. Go I've ahead. just been in it a little long, but I've had somebody, to learn some things to, to pray. <laughs> yeah, but one of the things that we um, I, I talked about, they were talking about um, this couple said they don't go to bed mad. I yes. said, that's good. Mm -mm, so you that. know how you do that? You practice now as a single woman uh -huh. before you go to bed. Lord, such and such got on my nerves today. Uh -huh. And Lord, just, I don't want to go to bed mad. Lord, help me not go mad. Just forgive me, Lord. Yeah. I said, do, do that with God now. Your yeah. disappointments, whatever it is you need to talk about, uh -huh. you talk to God about it now. So when he comes, you'll be able to not go to bed mad because you practice not going to bed mad because you talk to your husband man uh -huh. who is that's God. That's good. That's good. Who is that's God. Good. So put into practice those things now. Yeah. yeah, that's real good. I'm goofy. I, I cook I when I, I used to, I cook Jesus a uh, dinner before. <laughs> oh, say yeah. that. Say yeah. that. I've cooked Jesus dinner before. Yeah. 
cooked him a meal, set the table for him. Y- y'all think I know y'all gonna say Sister Susie crazy, Mr. Tate, Doctor, whatever them titles. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be but yes, I did because I want to serve my husband. I wanna be the woman that sits at his feet and be like, Baby, what you think about that? Oh, I want God. that. With all yeah. that God may have given me up here and in yeah. here, I wanna be able to learn from my husband. That's so nice. so that so just practice those things now. Practice those yeah. things now. That's really as good. a single woman. That's okay, what we got? Tell us what you got going on. Okay, so, amen. Uh, I will be in D.C. doing another um, relationship conference. They changed the date, but check me out on um, on Facebook. I'll post it. How can we- they find you? Oh, find find me here on Facebook, Dr. Tuesday Tate. Mm -hmm. Uh, My personal page is at capacity, but you can go to Dr. Tuesday. This is who I am. And you can uh, catch me there. There's a page called Relationship Rules. Just wherever you find me, just join yeah. um and then on instagram on twitter youtube my youtube channel dr tuesday a lot of relationship stuff out there um in august august the 17th through the 19th we have our speakers three-day speakers training if you want to be a speaker professional speaker we train you through atk speakers and publishing firm That's atk awesome. stands for advance the kingdom Amen. So um, maybe you just want to be more comfortable, like learning how to speak in front of people and not do the ums and the ahs and wringing your hands and sweating. So we help you to do that. And then in October, we start our next book. Right now we're working on The Mornings After, M-O-U-R-I-N-G-S, From Grief to Glory. Ten authors sharing their story about loss, uh, loss, a a marriage that ended, that they didn't want to end, losing father, mom. So just different stories children um, and just to help other people who will go through li- uh, situations of mourning and that pastor uh, Marvin L. Sapp will be doing the foreword in that book yeah. and then the book that will start in September, October uh, will be Maximizing Your Talent. So we are looking for 10 authors 10 professionals corporate, nonprofit who's excelled in their business in their uh, small business as well as in corporate America and those who are in ministry who stepped out on faith and started their own ministry. We just want you to share your story and how to help other people walk in faith to use their talents to maximize their lives. So those are a couple of things I have coming up. And also I'm going to let her come. Um, she's got this, um, what is it, uh, a message or book? Oh, it, it's called, well, it, it was a message. Probably yeah. about five years ago it went around the country. Uh-huh. It's called, shh, everybody do like this, shh. Single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. Now say it in my camera. Shh. Push your lights on. Shh. <laughs> Single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you were at Living Water last Wednesday with mm-hmm. Pastor Hill, that's her pastor. Oh, yes. Um, that was good. And Lady Carol Hill, we did... Um, relationship talk yes. about marriages. Mm-hmm. Um, this Wednesday, we're going to have Pastor Jonathan Dunn from Cincinnati, Ohio. I thought and Pastor Poor was coming this Wednesday. Oh, is that this Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, God. See, it's Monday. You're right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. This Wednesday is... is Pastor. Um, I said Pastor Brother, James, Brother James, James Poor. Poor. He owns McDonald's and stuff. Several. About five or six of them here in the city of Indianapolis. And we're going to be talking about God, money, and entrepreneurship. But the following Wednesday, mm-hmm. there we go. Mm-hmm. The following Wednesday is 20th, Pastor Jonathan Dunn. And I think that's the 20th. Uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio, and um, he's going to be there, and we're going to be talking about relationships from a single man's perspective, and so I just added somebody, guess who, and she's <laughs> going to be giving us a sneak peek sneak. of single, save, save hot, oh, and ho- horny. Holy first. Oh, oh, okay, single, save, holy, holy hot, and horny, because y'all say, but y'all lot. don't know how to, That's a whole we, lot. we, we don't know save. how to. Holy, holy hot, hot and horny. And horny. Okay. Mm-hmm. But also she's going to be giving us just, just a, a little bit from a single woman's perspective. Yes. Who's been single and celibate for 20, 20 years. years. Stretch your hands. Yeah. Send so my she's husband. single, save, holy, hot, for and real. horny. For real. <laughs> uh-uh, I ain't horny. Because by definition, that word means of the devil. Oh, it ain't nothing about okay, me well, of the devil. Uh-uh. She ain't that bad. I thought it. Okay. <laughs> so forgive me. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Yo, we like to have fun. We yes, do. we, we really do. We like to have fun. We love and Jesus. And we don't take offense over any of your parts. We, 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 <laughs> we love Jesus, but we like to have fun. Absolutely. Okay. Um, don't worry. I'm. Gonna, you know, when I get home, I'm going to have Pastor Steve get hey, back Connie. on here. Hey, Tiffany. And then tell us. Hey, Kimberly. From a husband, from a husband's perspective. Sharon. How hard it is on them as men to try to father 
children. And oh, be that's good. The father in the house. That's good. And the wife keeps taking over. Mm. I got somebody. I yeah. Need to listen yeah. To that. Yeah. Lord. Share. 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 share tag. Something. Send share, this tag to someone. All of that. Listen, I love you. We love you. Love you. You the guys the are the best. And I hope this was a blessing. And I'm going to have Pastor Steve get on here and share. So even if you don't catch it, don't worry about come it. Back I'm going to post it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to post it and come back and listen. All right? And I appreciate you so much. This Wednesday, be there um, at Living Water Fellowship Church. What is it? What in entrepreneurship? What is the title? With Pastor? God, God, he's going to talk about God, entrepreneurship, and money. He's going to talk about entrepreneurship all three of them. and money. I probably mm -hmm. I, I want teens, I want young people, I want everybody in there. Yeah. And and the first 50 people that come at 6.30 are going to get um, a gift. I gave them a gift last night. Oh. You know, I, I love giving. Yes, I love you do. Giving. Yes, I you love do. giving. And so, um, yes, as women, we need to hear that. The transparency will be appreciated. This is keeping it 100. Amen. Oh, Roxy, I love you. Barbara, I appreciate you too. All right, Nicole says slam dunk. I love you too, Nakia. I love all of you, Terrence. I love you. I love all of y'all. All right, so we'll be back. Pastor Steve will be back. He ain't getting off the hook that easy. <laughs> all right. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for receiving us, receiving me on Pastor Kim's live video Peace. service. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>